Well done, James. You guessed correctly. I suspect it is the lovely ladies of the Angama Pride. Now, there are a couple of them. Most of them seem to be actually laying in the grass at the moment, which is making it difficult for us to give an accurate, um, well, ID on these lines. But this area is pretty much where they were seen yesterday. They must have been in the tree line, though, because we've driven past this and we actually stopped and we scanned around here this morning and there were no lines in sight. So I think that they've moved out from the tree line. And they're still glancing around. I can't see any big bellies from this angle. So I wonder if they were unsuccessful again last night. They were watching the zebra that were just on the other side of the lugger uh, as they were running about. Looking a little bit interested, but they've got a long way to go to catch those zebra. They'll have to travel quite a big distance. I don't think they're going to sit there for the whole day, though. It's going to be quite warm. The sun is pretty much pushed through all the clouds. The clouds are burning out. And that is not a very good spot. So I'm just looking around me to see where's the next shady bit uh, in preparation if they, you know, for this afternoon. Hmm. Maybe they'll go to the left or the right or forwards or backwards because there's just trees around them and they're going to go back towards the other lionesses up on the, or the other lioness. There must be a couple more around here. We'll see. Hopefully when she walks through the grass, she'll wake uh, a few others up. But they're in there somewhere. I did see little heads, little cub heads, there we go, popping up every now and then. Because I don't think it was the Ngama pride that we saw near the Olololo gate. I'm pretty sure that it was the Olololo females that we saw just very briefly and just a few of them. No, they don't look very fat, do they? You know, they could have had a small snack here and there. You know, maybe caught an impala or caught something like a topi that wouldn't really be too much they'd gobble that up in 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 a couple of hours in fact with all those cubs and the four lionesses yeah i think they're gonna find and hopefully try to find a nice shady spot but they're far off the road as you can see now goop you're wondering if lions only eat meat yes it's the main diet however occasionally you can see lions ingesting grass just like your dogs and cats will do at home normally it's to try and regurgitate all the hair that they've been feeding on um that's that's typically it but yes they're just eating just eating meat they're not like the jackals which can change their diet they're omnivorous they can feed on uh, rodents and well any meat they scavenge quite a bit too but they can also feed on fruit unfortunately lions do not have the ability to change their diet they'll be bouncing on the edge of the branches to drop some of those fruits so that they could eat them that could be quite a sight but they stand out like a sore thumb i mean you can see how easy it is to spot a lion that is sitting elevated above the grass because that sort of white underbelly of theirs, it, just, it doesn't blend into the vegetation. It does stand out. Now, Molly, you're wondering, what is my favorite pride of lions? Well, in South Africa, I like the southern pride, although the Nkumas have grown on me tremendously. And then up here in the Mara, I like the sausage tree pride a lot. I really enjoy them. I like that feisty young pale cub. She's hysterical. She keeps me giggling for for ages and most of you know i just like to laugh all the time it's my favorite thing i don't want to take anything too seriously only when i really have to and i'm enjoying the ngama pride too i haven't really spent too much time with them um, the other prides i've seen the egyptian goose pride i have seen i've seen a variety of of lions seen the silos pride but i think my favorite so far has to be the sausage tree pride but they've kept me waiting molly they um they keep taunting me and stalking animals and not successfully catching anything. So when is the day that I'm going to see with the amount of time that I've spent so far with the sausage tree pride? When are they going to lead me to a successful kill? We'll just have to keep waiting and seeing. I'd just love to see.